Musioka and wipe leader Kalonzo Musioka's son is the youngest East Africa legislative assembly member having served for five years. He says this has opened his world of politics and believes there still can be another handshake involving all leaders ahead of the next general election to is the tension which comes with elections. He spoke to our political reporter Elizabeth Motuko as he confidently vouches for his father, saying Kenyans are safe in his hands. A very good evening. Welcome to TV 47. This being a special assignment and today I'll be speaking to Kennedy Musioka's son to wipe a leader, Kalonzo Musioka. But in his life, I know majority of Kenyans know him as Yala MP, but then away from that and before that, who is Kennedy? And after that, who is Kennedy Musioka? Thank you so much for tuning in at TV 47. You can speak to us to 22047 and our Twitter handles. So as social media, I'm Elizabeth Mutuku. Thank you so much, Kennedy, for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. Maybe to know who Kennedy is, but before politics and before Yala, who is Kennedy? Uh, welcome and thank you for the opportunity. Um, I would describe myself as a you know, simple patriotic Kenyan, um, a lawyer, farmer, entrepreneur, mm -hmm. yeah. How was life to you when you joined politics? Uh, well, baptism of fire. I, I didn't think I would get as many votes as I did, uh, you know, because the politics at the time was so uh, antagonistic. So I was surprised to have gotten <laughs> so many votes. So it was easy for you to get the votes or maybe it was a rigorous process which had challenges for you. Maybe you explain to us a bit how it was. Uh, well, it was, it was a very challenging uh, process. Um, and I had to do, like for me, for example, uh, we had to do about two or three interviews because you start at the party uh, and then you go to parliament and then uh, so in our case parliament broke for the elections before they had sent members so then when new members came in you had to go and reintroduce yourself and try and convince them as to why they should vote for you which um, was difficult again at the time because of our politics mm -hmm. So it wasn't something that you were given as majority of Kenyans or some of Kenyans think about it and think about you. Yeah, definitely that was not it and it was definitely not a walk in the park. I, I, from my experience, uh, I, I think I tell people, look, pray for your leaders, all of them. Yeah. How, how was life to you before Iyala and before politics? Um, I think it was simple. Uh, as I, I studied, finished my, my degrees, um, then I went into practice. Mm -hmm. So I was, was just uh, normal. Out. You were doing your thing before yeah. politics. Is politics something you wanted to do or is it something you detested? I definitely detested um, politics. It's not something I wanted to do. Uh, because always I didn't understand it when I was younger. Like, what is this obscure thing called politics, um, where you know, dad would be away, uh, you know, a lot, a lot, um, trying to build a better Kenya. So you tell me, but as a kid, you, you know, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you hated politics because of the absenteeism in your father when you needed him. He wasn't there because he is in politics and he is into leadership. So he was somehow absent in the moments when you needed him. And that's why you detested politics. Um, it was more than that. I think, one, I didn't understand what he was doing, right? So I didn't understand. And then I didn't understand politics. Mm -hmm. And our politics was... Uh, was, at, uh, as I was growing up, not very mature. It had a lot of, you know, challenges. You know, today you wake up um, and then they would announce you've been sacked at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it's something it you never wanted to be involved yeah. in. And here you are now getting into yellow. How has this changed your life? And how did it change your life from the Kennedy who was maybe in law and other things? Yeah. And now you're here, now in the limelight in politics where in, each and everyone needs your service as a leader. Wow. Um, well, a lot has changed. I had to, I had to mature very quickly. Um, as I said, I was one of the youngest there. 
um, but I, and also got to understand and see what our leaders go through and get to understand them better and get an even uh, deeper understanding of politics. Um, it, from what um, I come from private uh, practice, so I'm used to this is a problem, this is how we fix it. Mm -hmm. But sometimes uh, <laughs> that is not always the case, especially with us at uh, yeah. Parliament. Yeah. So it was a new thing to you and which you needed uh, for you to learn. But before the learning, how did, how did you even cope with you coming to the limelight? Um, I, I think I was lucky. I, I took it in my stride, I, and you know, I haven't done many interviews. So this is maybe one of the first ones uh, in, in a while. Um, and we were immediately got very busy. So then my focus just shifted to what I needed to do at the time. Majority of Kenyans, some of Kenyans feel like this was a way of a leader, that is Waipa leader and your father, Kalonzo Musioka, to bring you into politics and to groom you into politics. How do you think about it? Uh, well, I can see how, how they would think that way, um, but that wasn't the case. It, was, it, was, it wasn't even his idea, mm -hmm. but um, as, I, as, I was, as I keep telling young people to be involved in politics, mm -hmm you know, just go and volunteer your time if you're not doing much. Um, so in my doing that, um, some of the leadership saw that um, I am competent enough to, to represent them um, at, that, at the regional level. The, the few years you've served in, in Yala and in our, polit in, in our politics, because you've told me in the beginning of this segment that it was so bad for you before you joined uh, the, 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 the Yala position, but majority will wonder, has anything changed in our political scene? Um, well, we're back again to where we always are every election cycle where we, we become very antagonistic towards each other, which is unfortunate. Um, and that makes it difficult for a lot of people, mm -hmm. um, including the private sector mm -hmm. um, and businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I've learned and um, known how to cope better. Take us through your day in Yala while you're serving. Okay. Your day, how does it look like? Uh, well, it, it depends. So I'm currently the chair of the accounts committee. Mm -hmm. Um, just yesterday I was in the planning meeting which with the rest of the chairpersons and our speaker. Um, so we spent, for example, yesterday, which was a planning meeting, mm -hmm. um, making sure all the committees are up to speed with their work and they have sp time to do so and there's a budget for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is much work. Going back to time, would you like this to change? Um, uh, I've learned to, to change. Would you like things to be different? Maybe you go back to the Kennedy before politics or today? No, I think it was a good opportunity. I've definitely grown a lot mm -hmm. um, and I feel I'm able to make a difference. Mm -hmm. How is your relationship, uh, yourself and your father? Because at some point I read somewhere and I gathered that he's your mentor. But how is the relationship that is in home and in p politics and in leadership? Um, well, we, we, I think we're very good at separating um, our relationships. So, you know, sometimes we're friends, sometimes we're lawyers. And then he's my senior and I accord him that respect. Yeah. Um, sometimes he's a more experienced farmer, so I'll listen to him on his advice. So sometimes I don't listen, maybe I want to do... That, that means, Kennedy, there are times you differ with your father and he has to take your opinion or... Or leave it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, but, you know, I think since we're both very logical, we always come to an agreement. So there are no disagreements. Can you tell me that him? <laughs> In a house full of lawyers, there are always disagreements. Yeah, but but not the disagreements which will will escalate to something else. You have got in a way of working together anyway, and living together. But I'll come to this. How can you des describe your father? Wow, he's he he loves people. He's 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 a patriot. He loves Kenya. Um, I, and uh, he's an amazing diplomat, very good at getting people to talk and agree and solve 
um, issues that he's done that for Somalia and DRC. Um, yeah, so he's an amazing person, generally. You've watched your father in politics day in, day out, year in, year out. Season political Seasons in politics come and go. He contests, he doesn't get it. He teams with other leaders. They don't get it. They haven't succeeded. Do you think that he's made mistakes by being with some leaders and this is the right time for him maybe to change that? Um, well, I feel like I'll support him in whatever he decides to do. Um, and, and because now if we talk as him as a leader, separate from him as my dad, um, the people he leads will want him to chart a particular path and they will give him the mandate to do so, which I uh, think they already have. Yeah. When you tell me that you're going to support him in each and every decision he makes, politically because he's a leader and also your father, does it mean at some point we're going to see Kennedy, Kennedy Musioka <laughs> in politics? Um, uh, maybe active politics here in the country? Well, you know, um, God willing, if uh, that is the best way I see um, to make a difference, then it's something I would consider. But for now, my focus is on uh, Zendi's campaign this year. And you're going to support him in that. I understand there are calls from all political divides for him to support them. How do you think of this? Well, I mean, Kenya belongs to all of us. Um, and we need to be able to have leaders who can um, sit down and talk before we end up in another 207 situation. So um, I think at their level, they'll sit, they'll negotiate and um, find a way forward. Do you think we are on the right path as a country? Having served in yellow way, you've seen all these countries, East Africa, how it's doing politically back in Kenya and we are headed to election. Are we on the right path? I, I'm not convinced we are. I think every election year we, we, like, we like to play with fire. We, when we look at our neighbours, Somalia is not very stable, Ethiopia, um, if you look at what Rwanda went through where I think it was 800,000 people died in 100 days, so about 100,000. So because we've never uh, experienced, and it's similar with Burundi, they had issues, mm -hmm. we have never experienced that level of um, the carnage or, um, you know, that level of disaster. We we joke with things we shouldn't joke, mm -hmm. yeah. So you still feel we can change this? Yeah, right? uh, maybe that one you, you need to ask him. No, you talk to him, I have seen the relationship between you and him. And that tells you you will talk a lot about this. Uh, do you think this will change? Well, well, we'll talk, but like I said, you know, <laughs> we'll support him in whatever he decides to do. I know this is a sensitive matter and I'd like to ask you, how is mom? Oh, she's doing well. We thank God for that. How have you guys been able to cope for the few years he has been, she has been unwell? Um, I think just being able to support each other, um, sacrifices, was not easy, but you know, we, we thank God for where we've reached. We pray and we hope someday she's going to be very okay. We wish her very, very quick and speedy recovery back to politics when i don't find you in politics and matters a uh, leadership what will i find kennedy doing um well i like to travel i like kenya it's a beautiful country so i'll possibly be traveling in kenya or at the law office or at the farm oh farm let me go back to farm does it mean you're a farmer? <laughs> uh, I, well, I, I like livestock. I have a few cows and a few goats. Uh, but that's the extent of my farming <laughs> skills. A few cattle, few goats, few sheep, maybe. But, like how many? Uh, maybe 10, 10 goats, uh, 15 cows, almost 20. Yeah. Have you, from your farming years, you have only 20? Yeah. Or maybe something happened and you had it? Well, I, I was broke, so I sold, I sold a few uh, and bought shares. You were, you, <laughs> let me come to this, Ken. You were broke. Yeah. The majority of Kenyans would think maybe Kennedy with the father, with the, he, he can't lack, he can't lack nothing. Um, 
I mean, well, I, I felt it was important to try and demonstrate, uh, uh, you know, my capacity with, you know, the little that I have. Yeah, I that, that means that everything you have is not given, it's for your hard work. Yeah. Okay, that's a good thing I've learned from you. Um, you've said you love traveling. Yeah. How many countries have you traveled? Uh, I have a list, uh, but one of my favorite ones was representing the party in Cape Verde, where we interacted with the Prime Minister then. Uh, so that was a, and I traveled to Cambodia on an election observation mission as well. Mm -hmm. And you're still hoping to travel more and more. Which is your team when it comes to EPL Kenya? Oh, EPL Kenya. No, EPL and Kenya KPL. Kenya is uh, Batoto Bamungu, Batoto. Sofapaka. <laughs> Why Sofapaka? Um, I, I liked what, what they stood for. Because uh, remember, before they came, people didn't think uh, soccer could, you know, could do so well. And I, I hope to own my own club one day. Um, yeah. Complete with the stadium and everything. Good. That is, that is a good vision for young people. Yeah, because we can't all be employed. So we have talent. Why not build it mm -hmm. and export it? English Premier League? Uh, you, do, you don't. Tell me you don't. I do, mm -hmm. but I've not watched before COVID. So Arsenal. Ah, what was said Ali? What was said? I won't say nothing about them because I know my camera person belongs to Arsenal, big team. <laughs> <laughs> but then they never win anything. Is Kennedy married? Uh, well, um, I like to keep my private life uh, private. Uh -huh. uh, so, but you'll get to know in due time. Nothing is private when it comes to public figures. So please, are you married, Kennedy? Soon. Uh, soon. Yeah. How soon is soon? Because Jesus said he's coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> Soon is, uh, you know, soon enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, but we'll get to here. I'm waiting yes. for invitation, definitely. Invitation, yes. uh, what is your message to the young people, considering that you've served in Iala and you've seen the structures, how they work, and I know it's still a knowledge you'd like to apply here in Kenya? Um, my advice would be to young people to get involved in political parties um, that, you know, that they feel you know, that they're comfortable with. Uh, if they ask me, I'll tell them to join WIPA, but, you know, not everyone would be comfortable with that. So let them, you know, join political parties and be a part of the process and solutions. Although it's watapangwa too. Thank you so much, Kennedy, for giving me this opportunity to get to know you and also for Kenyans to get to hear who you are and where you're headed, maybe for a few days or in future. I thank you so much, TV47, for watching us. We are always here to get you covered. I'm Elizabeth Mutuku. Keep watching.